time that scares hard and work it down that hard. I spent my whole list of chickens, mama from the rich folk yard. I got a blue so bad one time, it put my face in a permanent frown. Now I'm feeling so much better, I can take walking the town. Lesson on my version of Cakewalk into Town by the illustrious Taj Mahal. And I added a lot of double bass um, runs because, well, Taj Mahal plays it solo uh, with a, a tuba as accompaniment, so I tried to mimic the tuba sound with lots of bass runs. I also played it a little bit faster than what he does. Uh, his solos versions are very slow. Uh, later he recorded with a band and they, they are, those versions are more up to tempo uh, like I do it. All right, tablature, link to the free tab in the video description. And we're playing in standard tuning out of the key of C. And I'll play the introduction slow. a little uh, single string run, pull off, and then it's like a A7 chord but move back one fret. And in the second and third beats there are well a few of my favorite uh, things to do that is twice the tap and middle in. So, second measure, also temp temp of course, that last beat when going to the C. And again in the last measure I do the same trick. Lots of double basses. Alright, now the accompaniment behind the verse. And I start with measure three. Notice that it's, it's a blues, but not a 12 bar blues, it's only an 8 bar blues. He simply left out, let's say, the second line of the lyrics. Normally a blues has three lines of lyrics, A, A, B. First line is repeated, he doesn't repeat that first line. Also, very typical is there are no fills. Normally if you play a blues, I woke up this morning, da 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 and then you play, you play a fill and then you go to the four chords. This is not the case in this song. Okay, um, the accompaniment is relatively simple, apart from the double basses, of course. And let's go over it. So, starting with measure three. Runs in C, going to F. 
and I'm grabbing the F with the thumb prep and adding my third finger to the fifth string third fret. And here, this is a chord that Taj didn't use. Um, a diminished chord. Second fret and then first fret, second fret, first fret. Normally you could add the pinky to the second fret first string as well. All right, bar seven. And again, that same trick, damp, damp, middle index, damp, damp. C and G. You see there's an absence of the first string in the accompaniment to keep it um, rather low in tone and a bit austere. Let's sing it slowly with uh, vocals now, starting with measure three. I had the blues so bad one time, it put my face in a permanent frown. Now I'm feeling so much better, I could take walking. I do some variations uh, and I wrote out on the fifth line of the tap, one that I use often. I had the blue back to the normal accompaniment. It's just um, following the vocals with your bass. Uh, you will hear that very clearly in the performance video. By the way, the lyrics, you can find those on the net if you just do a search on uh, Taj Mahal lyrics, Cake Walk Into Town, you're gonna find plenty of answers. And that's another variation. You know that if you move up uh, diminished chords, one, two, three, four, then uh, you get the same chords. It has the same notes but on different strings. So you can always do that when playing. For example, if you play four beats in this chord, you could do two beats in this one and two beats in this one like I do in the variation for bar 7. All right, then I did uh, a few solos. Taj didn't do any solos well. He whistled during um, one verse of two verses. And, but I'm not a good whistler, so I prefer to do a guitar solo. So here's this first solo slowly, also with lots of double bass. And you can do some scat singing while playing that. So, C chord, double bass. When we're going to the F chord, I'm bending and I'm, I'm picking it only once. And, and the next beat I release the tension. Double bass. Then going to with a double bass. And then I do the uh, the C chord, the G chord. Uh, sorry. The 
can play an open string for that. Uh, like that, you can do it like that also. That's how it is played in the tap. Triplet on the second beat of measure 17. I repeated this solo and uh, it's the same except for the last uh, couple bars 17 and 18 where we go to the D7 so like that. variation you also have. So we're slowing, seemingly slowing down and taking the rhythm up again. Now the second solo um, I slide into the the C chords like the long A chord but then on the fifth fret and only the last beat of bar 19 is different uh, where is bar 19 again there instead of I'm going doing that to the C chord. You could do that also, but in a tap it's twice to the eighth fret. A lot of bass run here. And then we're going to an F chord which I, well, sort of learned to use um, when doing those, all those Larry Johnson songs. He is really a fan of this chord. And it's your D7, first position moved up to the fifth fret, comes an F, and you simply add the index to cover strings four and five on the third fret. And then you have a, a nice F7 chord. So, then diminished chords, 7th fret, 8th fret, 8, 7, 8, 7, move it up to the 10th fret, sorry 11th fret, I'll have to do a correction in the tab there, so, and back to our C, Blind Blake run. A 
variation instead of doing the hammer to the second fret on the fourth string, we do a pull off. I didn't tap out the, <coughs> the ending uh, because, well, it's relatively simple. Uh, we're ending, of course, with uh, 19, 12, 18, and 19 bar. Back to C and then. diminished chords like I talked about before they're all the same chords These, the G7 and ending with a C chords barring the fifth fret with your pinky or third finger and or simply like that if you don't want to play that fifth string. Uh, and of course you can uh, do plenty of uh, right hand variations. Like that. Alright, have a lot of fun with this song.